so we've been back one week from the France trip as you know um, it went absolutely superb we couldn't have wished for a better trip it re really sort of like revitalized our um, passion with France can I say that um, yeah it was from the word go, I'll tell you what, the rugby club where we stayed up at um, Paul and then we boarded the ferry. Um, it was just a absolute clockwork kind of like um, trip. Just couldn't have wished for any more. Um, you know me, I'm doing loads of videos, so uh, lots of work to do from my point of view. But uh, if you want a lovely relaxing break over to France, get on them Brit that Brittany Ferries website. Honestly, well... We I come back and I'm kind of like that was just so like laid back and for us it's a very very convenient port to um, leave from that um, Pearl Harbor. Uh, it was just a shame I had like vis vis visions of the weather being a lot better when we left, um, which it wasn't. And that's one thing you can never um, rely on is that weather. Uh, even on a bank holiday weekend that's coming up now. <laughs> Look at the weather forecast, terrible. But anyway, uh, we won't let that dampen the uh, spirits. But the French, yeah, so we got on the ferry and it was going like really nice. And uh, like I say, I, I was visualising sitting up on the outside deck on maybe a sun chair and that wasn't going to happen. Um, and uh, yeah, so, but then we, we got the other side um, and it was just so relaxed. Um, we went out to the lighthouse up the top, the Flair de Gat de Ville, uh, that was on my little artillery list. It was, um, um, so, so like I say, you just got these visualizations of it being a totally different day than it actually pans out to be. But uh, we got some nice pictures up there, um, and then we ended up, we were going to stay up there. It was a little bit sort of like, hmm, are we sort of like we're on our own a little bit up here? It was very, very quiet with motorhomes. As the sort of trip panned out, we, bumped into a lot of French camper vans uh, that ran about in France but uh, um, not many English only a couple and you knew who you are but um, anyway um, that was that and then we we ended up coming down the coast um, I I just had to remind myself actually because you know I was actually using my uh, um, camping car parks the app and the uh, the card that was just going so well. Um, why can't we have something like this in England? Why can't we have something like this in England? So I had to remind myself that the um, the first stop off uh, was the, and I'm gonna have to remind myself again. Um, but um, Saint Vaslahoff. St. Vaslehoff, that was the stopover that we did, and we had that really nice walk out along towards that big fortress. Um, it was 10 euros to stay there. Uh, we, we didn't have electricity on that one, if you remember. We didn't have electricity, but, um, and then we were kind of almost like, oh, in the camping, they've got electricity, and we don't even know how much it was. It, I don't, yeah, it might have been 20 euros, I don't even know. But uh, it wasn't a problem. We had plenty of um, power and uh, it wasn't a big issue. But then going on from there, we left. Um, next day, headed down to Utah Beach. And that's where that little baby started coming into uh, its own. So I'm just going to open the app again now. Uh, camping car park. And uh, so, yeah, I was actually having a little look some of the park up so i'm just going to zoom in on the map it's really easy zoom the map where we were to utah beach and that down there was uh 13 euros 50 24 hours with electricity on utah beach why can't we have this in england um, I'm just looking now, there is 49 available pitches and 32, uh, yeah, 32 at the moment are available out of 49 pitches, so there's still plenty of space down there, so you can still check out the app. So when we left to go to Nantes camping, um, well, we were looking to stay on the um, camping car park, which is right outside the camping in Nantes. Um, and we did see that, obviously, if you've been watching the videos where um, I was checking the app and 
it looked like it was um, um, full. Uh, so we proceeded on, you know, you know, you, you just got to just go with the flow. So then we got there and it was it was looking it was it wouldn't let me in. So it was it was full. Um, so then we ended up going into the camping, which is our most expensive night. And that was 42 euros um, for the night there. Uh, so we had and that we had a great shower block. We had electricity. We had all the amenities. Um, so we were, we we can't grumble. We we were literally forty two euros, and uh, and that was on the whole of the trip the most expensive camping. So how much that? We left there, uh, went down the coast, um, and we were just then north of La Rochelle. I'm just going to remind myself of the place again so north of La Rochelle in that little area on the map there was three airs and I had a quick look at them um, and the one I went for uh, I think it was the most expensive one at 13 euros 90 um, faulty summer Les Pins um, so just north of La Rochelle but 1390 and that's where we ended up electricity again we walked down the town we had a, um, some beers and a great little bar we went out on the coast down by the beach it was absolutely superb um, so we, we we were just like it was just like a you know total win situation for like 10 euros th uh, Omaha um, Utah Beach um, 13 euro you know, we we were still um, into like four nights of our trip, and we hadn't even spent a um, hundred anything near like a hundred euros, um, nothing near it. So then we uh, we ended up going on to Ile de Rey, where we ended up going on the um, the, the first campsite over the bridge. Um, that um, I can't even remember how that much that was. But it, again, uh, what was that? I can't. I can't even. I don't even remember what it was now. So you have to apologise on that one. But we were kind of like. At the end of the day, we're again on a superb pitch, right in the place where we want to be. Um, we ended up having, and then we moved up to St. Martin de, um, St. Martin de Rey, uh, up on the uh, other campsite, and we had um, two nights up there, and uh, again, absolutely superb. From the island, we went inland, we went up on the Loire River, where we ended up um, at Villandroy, where again, we used the camping car park, uh, another one, 13 euros, something like that, electricity there, uh, walked up to the chateau. What an amazing place! If you if you know if um, if you're watching this video, check out our. I've done a playlist of the French trip and just like sort of tried to ram all the videos into one box um, there. Um, and then we ended up proceeding back up to Normandy because we wanted to catch that British uh, memorial up there at Juno Beach. Um, so then we ended up going up there and then up to Saint Mir. Oh, so, you know, what happened? Yeah, so we went from the Loire up to Loyon St. Mur. That was on Sunday, that's right. And then we'd do, done the uh, British Memorial on the Monday and St. Mir, the English, with the parachutes on the roof and then proceeded up to the ferry port to come back. But, um, again, the whole thing... So, um, yeah, that was our last one. You might have seen, if you watched the video on uh, um, Lyon St. Mur, Lyon St. Mur... Um, great little French town out on the front there and um, just in walking distance of everything we ended up that Sunday night in that beautiful little bar there and the really friendly people that ran that place and um, it was it was just mad it was mad it just it just goes so quick when you're enjoying yourself like that um, I don't know where the time goes honestly I just don't know where the time goes but uh, anyway so yeah then the next day we left there um, and then it was just on that kind of decline of like, oh my God, this trip is nearly coming to an end. Um, and then, yeah, and then it ended up, we literally, um, I think I uh, sent me to English with the church. Um, it was kind of like, I've got to get myself going, get back up to the port, um, get on the boat. And um, then we ended up coming back in. So that's when we had a little bit of, uh, with the car deck and, um, little bit of a delay getting off but we were happy you know we were like we the the, the Brittany ferries guys were just like 
superb. We just we were just having a laugh with them, and it was brilliant. And um, yeah, it, it is what it is. We, we were and and I was kind of like, well, I'm only just going to the rugby club. I'm when I get off this boat, I'm just gonna like fly over there. Um, Oh, and don't forget, I don't know if you missed it in the video where we start, we're coming into the port and there was people ready to board for the next day on the ferry the next morning and, and they were parked up down on the port and uh, great place to park up. So we could have even not stayed at the road because, and parked right down on the port in the line of motorhomes waiting at the port. You'd have been like, right, how nice, is how relaxed is that? It's just like so nice. And um, yeah, and then it was all over. Buff, flash, bang, wallop, it's all gone. But um, if you are thinking of going over to Francais, make sure you get the camping car park. Um, get the card. It's easy. My, my card came through. Remember, I was going and I ordered it up, and um, I've still got 20 euros credit on it, you know, and uh, it's just so. And you can pre book, you can pre book your parkings with this as well. Um, check your balance, go up, dunk, yeah, check the balance. I was literally getting into the routine of um, so when you arrive at the barrier, dunk, open. You haven't paid nothing yet. In you go. You park. Uh, you pay to leave. So I was literally going to the pay machine and paying for my parking with my card, um, with my um, debit card, um, and then literally just um, just adding the amount to this. So I just retained my twenty euros and was just going bing up with the barrier. Off you go. Why can't we get this in this country? Oh. So hey, why am I? Am I? Am I going back to France? Of course I am. You know, absolutely. My God. Um, value for money, yes, okay. So for me, um, I've just, just chucked it on the floor now. But um, I've, got to, I've got to put it back in my little holder in the dashboard ready for next time. But um, yes, okay, you have got to pay for your ferry crossing. If you are in the um, east of England, in the Kent area... You can, you can get on that Euro Tunnel, get on that DFDS ferry really cheaply. I was just, this time I was just trying to um, get a little bit closer to me to make it more, and it was absolute but. So, after this trip, we, we always like, we, me and Caroline are just like driving down the road and saying, how good was that? And um, then I'm kind of like, Plymouth is 25 minutes down the road from me. That's even closer than two hours to pull. I can fill up with diesel, drive to the port, get on the boat. I can arrive in um, Roscoff with shed loads of diesel, and I'm going. I'm going there next. So there is another trip developing soon. I've got to get some logistics sorted out. The um, stickers are the logo for the stickers are done. <laughs> You might have seen them. Uh, I'll tag one in this video. And uh, so all we got to do is hit the um, hit the uh, printers with some stickers and uh, hula, mo hotel adventures. So okay, I'm going to leave this video there. Um, anybody that wants any information about this, we've done videos on these cards, um, camp camping car park. Um, fantastic look if you if you've watched this video and never seen any of our france trip check out the stops uh, i think we've uh, tried to compress everything in there like we said before so I'm, we will see you soon i'm gone oh by the way just before i go our youtube channel now who would ever have thought it um we have just uh climbed past 800,000 views on our YouTube channel. That is just like monstrous. And basically, all we're actually about is passing our, on our experience to you guys. That's all it is. We've had experience. In, um, you know, we've had loads of travel experience. And um, basically, we like to pass on the good places to you guys. And that's our passion. That's my passion, our passion for doing this project of uh, YouTube um, so um, thank you if you've watched this video and if you've watched any of our other videos and we really really appreciate you watching um, 
Thank you. Bye.